Hi everyone. I'm excited today. This is Linda with Linda Sue Plants for you. I got a package from Gabriella Plants. And I gotta say so far their service is excellent. What they, they did what they said they were gonna do. Uh, I actually got it delivered UPS. I did pay three extra dollars for that, but because of the problems we've been having with our mail, to me it was well worth it. So they gave you the option, which is nice. Ah, smile, your plant has arrived home. Wow, it's a, a sticker. <laughs> That's a very nice touch. And yes, you did just put a smile on my face. Okay. You know, I know that um, I, those of you that have been following me and my normal, my regular viewers are going to remember probably that when I had that thrift issue going on, I, okay, there's an unboxing guide and a thank you for supporting our family business. It means a lot to us. Well, you're very welcome. Um, I, when I had the strips issue going on, I swore I was never going to order plants again from somewhere without being able to physically feel them and look at them and inspect them. But, you know, my, my plant mania got the better of me and obviously here we are, but you know, I was just looking through the different websites and I came across Gabriella and I've heard very good things about them. And so I thought, you know, I'm just going to give it a, a try. I was looking up a plant, that's what it was, and that and that led me to them and then I, you know, one thing led to another and I was like, okay, I'm just going to I'm just going to do it. So, let's let's do it. Let's get them out of here. And, um, <clears throat> get the box out of the way. <clears throat> Very exciting. I haven't ordered a plant in a while, and I think I have all of my pest problems resolved, so... It was time. And one of these plants I ordered, um, I saw it at, a, at, a, at Milliger's when my husband and I went there at the beginning of summer, and I almost bought it. But I saw fungus gnats flying around, so nope, I didn't want to go there. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, I can't wait to show you. Here. Let's see, where's the opening? Oh, it's it's a sleeve. Okay. Well, let's maybe push it up. I'm sorry, people. It's taking so long. Maybe somebody's doing a drum roll for me, I hope. Oh, she's beautiful. This is a fern. Let me tell you what kind. I have to look because I can't remember the actual name. Uh, oh, Silver Ribbon. I think I've heard them called other things too, but that's, that's I guess, a common name. I'm not sure the botanical name. But Silver Ribbon is what they're calling it. And she is very pretty. Oh, and I even like the pot for a nursery pot. It's green. How nice. Instead of black. Great. I can use that for something else when the time comes. No soil in the box. No mess. And I think that's also something to be said for the delivery people, which is UPS. 
I wish I could order everything UPS because everything I get through the mail is it's not good. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. It's slightly damp, which that's wonderful because it's a fern. It should be. And look at how pretty this is. Oh, my goodness. Isn't she beautiful? Just look at those feather-like leaves. They're just beautiful. With the variegation on there. Oh. And there's a ton of growth down in inside of there. There's a bunch of new babies coming up. So I'm going to have to do some research on this and find out how soon do I have to repot her. But, oh boy. To have a plant like this, this delicate, come through the mail and look like this is amazing. Thank you, Gabriella Plants. Wow. I'm impressed. And this plant was only... $7. $7. I mean, that's a lot of plant for $7. Now, I know some of you are thinking that, yeah, but it's a fern, and I don't do well with ferns, and... Ferns always die, and yeah, they do, and they are hard to to keep. I, I'll be the first one to admit that, but I wanted to try it because I have some other ones. You know, I've got my kangaroo paw fern. I've got my um, blue star fern, and that's very delicate. I've got another, I think it's a Japanese fern sitting on my TV that was almost dead when I bought it. And I brought that back to life, so I, and I have a few other ferns here, too. And I, so I just thought, you know what, I'm having okay luck with my other ferns. Maybe I can do it with this one. But I'm going to give her the absolute perfect conditions that she calls for, and I will do an update um, down the road. But, yeah, you gotta, you have to appreciate this, even if you don't care for ferns. I mean, you... What's not to love about this plant? So dainty. And you guys know me. I, I like dainty. <coughs> I like dainty everything. When I was a little girl, I loved playing dress up. Love, love, loved it. The more feminine, the better. And when I got older, I was still the same way. I loved being very feminine in my attire. However, I also, there was another part of me that was as much of a tomboy as you'll ever find. I loved playing soldiers in the mud with my brother and his friends. I loved playing cowboys and Indians. I still love playing with trucks with my great-grandson. I especially like the old, um, the not pewter, the the lead toys, the heavy steel and heavy lead cars and trucks and trains and stuff that they had when we were kids. I just love those. I, I could just sit and hold them. I mean, I can't play with them. I'm 67 years old. I don't, I don't know what I would do with them, but I love them. When I see them on the Antique Road Show or on um, Pickers, American Pickers, if you guys watch that show, I love that show. Um, I always... I, I get so excited when I see those on there. But anyway, I'm, I'm going off on a road here. So I like both elements of life. and But this is my definitely my feminine side. All right. I don't want to make this too long. So I better get moving. Get off my fingers. Yeah. 
and this is a Calathea that I do not have. Maranta Luconura. That's as close as I can get, folks. These plants are very healthy. I'm really, I'm very impressed and I will definitely be ordering from them again. And I've purchased quite a few plants through the mail, folks. And most of the time I've not been happy with what I got. So this is exciting, very exciting for me. And granted, it is summertime, so we don't have we're not dealing with the the winter temperatures either. So that that helps, of course. <clears throat> Little browning tips on the bottom, no big deal. But this is also a good size plant now. I know some people have seen these at uh, Lowe's. I've seen people that got these at Lowe's for you know, fourteen, fifteen dollars for a big huge plant. My Lowe's doesn't have those. So it's for me this is a good deal and this one was I think twelve. Uh, yeah, twelve bucks for this one. So not too bad. And she is pretty. Love the coloring. The 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 pattern and the leaves and I don't have this one I have the lemon lime I have the red maranta well the red maranta I have one more time I have to check that but I think I lost it in the thrips thing I almost lost the one the uh, lemon lime one but I got her down to one leaf I'm just trying to untangle here. and I don't want her to break off. She wants to bend down. She wants to hang. <clears throat> so we're going to let her hang. Yeah. Uh, the lemon lime one that <clears throat> I have that, like I said, I almost lost to thrips. I cut her back all but one leaf. And I hosed off her roots. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I hosed off her roots and the leaf and the stem. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. I ended up um, repotting her and treating her for thrips, what was left of her. And I stuck her in my bathroom just to give her a little extra humidity. Now, I, I've had red maranthus for many years on and off. And I've never, it's never been a, a problem with the humidity in my home, just as it is normally, has never been an issue. It's always been enough. But in this case, because it was struggling so, I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose but the plant. I'm going to stick it in the bathroom and give it the best possible, you know, atmosphere that I can and that thing has just really come back to life in fact you know what since we're since we're talking about it let me just run and grab it I'll be right back <clears throat> okay <clears throat> I shouldn't really be putting these next to each other I'm breaking my rule but I just had to show you this um, 
she was down to one leaf and look at her now she's growing beautifully and she's got new shoots coming out of each stem hopefully you can see that here and here and here and down here and her color is wonderful and again like I said I put her in the bathroom with one leaf left and uh, after a horrible time of thrips but she's coming back to life folks I'm excited and especially going into winter I'm glad that I've got a healthy a healthy plant and I love her coloring is so pretty But my red maranta, I don't think she's going to make it. I haven't looked at her in a couple of days, but the last time I looked, it didn't look too promising. So you know how that goes, right? <laughs> when you know it's going out, you, you don't want to even look at it because it makes you so sad. But anyway, that's the story. So yay. I'm excited. So excited. Well... Thank you all for coming and sharing in my in my in my little mini unboxing here and and my update on my lemon lime and hopefully things will keep going well for me for a while. I don't want to I don't want to um, you know be sound selfish, but I. I really need a break. I need I need things to go well for me for a little while. It's been a, a really rough year for me and my family and it's time now. It's time for things to turn around. So this is gonna be the start of it, right? <laughs> She's so pretty. Oh I just I'm in love with this one. Just in love with this. Can you just see her in a big huge pot in the corner of a room just all draping so daintily over everything oh I hope I can keep her going so I have some homework to do I'm gonna have to really do a lot of research and make sure that I give her just absolute perfect care and and by by the way if any of you have this plant and you are growing it successfully and you have tips I'm all ears I'd love to hear from you Okay. Well, thank you all for coming. I hope you have a, if I don't see you or you don't see me before then, I hope you have a great weekend. I am going to try to get something out over the weekend, but I do have my great-grandson is coming tomorrow, and he spends the night on Friday night and then goes home on Saturday. So I won't be uh, doing anything tomorrow or, or Saturday. But maybe Sunday I might I might be back. I'll try. All right. Well, you have a great day and stay safe and stay healthy and keep smiling. Better days are coming. Bye now. <laughs>